Hassan, what new trend in healthcare design are you seeing or are interested in? Uh, I'm Hassan Al Shabana. I'm a pediatric emergency consultant. Practice in uh, King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center. Uh, we are seeing uh, um, the, the move from the traditional hospital, which looks like just a regular building, uh, to more of uh, information technology based uh, health uh, care facilities. Uh, which has a which track all the uh, work of people, including the physician, the nurses, and all her all healthcare providers. So the design is more challenged than just a building uh, with rooms and chairs and pits now. And patients know that, and they expect uh, expect that. Uh, my name is Elliot Bonney. I am an architect with Design Group in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, well, there's a lot of trends. You know, we've been talking about sustainability and evidence-based design for a long, quite a while now. Uh, I think that the safety and infection control are, are big ones and how we can integrate those measures into the other two big ones, sustainability and evidence-based design. Uh, Hugh Campbell, I'm a uh, principal with uh, Zimmer Gunsel Frasca out in Portland, Oregon. Well, I think one of the interesting things is the whole movement towards evidence-based design. We're uh, we're doing a lot with that. Uh, clients are asking for that quite often, um, for more attention to that. I think it's starting to work its way into projects now more and more. Well, my name is Jeff Lane, and I'm with uh, WorkStage LLC, which is a design build firm out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. The, the main thing is the, uh, I don't know how new the trend is, but fairly new evidence-based design. Um, I always believed in evidence-based selling. And so, you know, to have the evidence-based design to back you up and what you're trying to accomplish for a client really helps. My name is Mary Knopp. I am an interior designer with ECI Hire. Um, we're an architectural and interiors firm in Anchorage, Alaska. I guess I'd like to see a little bit more green of healthcare, and I think that's one of the most difficult things to do. Um, and obviously, the uh, evidence-based design to to show the impact of design on the outcome and the well-being of the patients and of the staff. So. Uh, my name is Jos Tafsant. I'm design director for Emmet Experience Design within Philips Design. Actually, what is very interesting, what you see now, is that the role of the hospital will change very much. Um, the hospital uh, will only be the core of the healthcare uh, services, uh, but there will be uh, really a, a I would say that the distribution of all kinds of healthcare services is much more embedded in society. So what you will see that the patient journey will also yeah, will be part of the, let's say, normal landscape and not uh, only limited to the hospital. Um, I'm the principal of Sylvia Harris LLC and I am the leader of that organization. I think the most interesting trend for us, we are involved in wayfinding, is um, the use of handheld devices to help people find their way through private institutions. And um, we're doing research to see how to get interior spaces mapped in Google and MapQuest to help people find